Metro's engineering department is responsible for the maintenance and renewal of critical railroad infrastructure, including stations, platforms, track, grade crossings, signals, and communications. In April 2021, Metro replaced three diamonds formed from the crossing of a single CN railway track over three Metro-owned tracks at a junction called V12 in Franklin Park, Illinois. The intersection is crossed by approximately 100 freight and passenger trains on a typical day. The project required the coordination of several sub-departments within the engineering umbrella and partnership with the Canadian Pacific Railway, whose dispatchers oversee the area, though it is switched by Metro dispatchers. Members of the track, signal, and buildings and bridges departments worked together to replace the diamonds overnight within a 10-hour window. Crews arrived at the site in the late evening before being granted track authority to allow for a safe working environment. After an initial job briefing, crews began cutting out the old diamonds with blowtorches. Front-end loaders removed the sections and set them aside to be loaded onto freight cars and sold as scrap metal at a later date. Two of the diamonds were removed first, leaving one remaining diamond available for the final Metro train of the evening. Once that train passed through the area, crews started removing the final diamond while other crews removed the old ballast. At this time, all tracks are now out of service. Once the ballast was removed, filter fabric was laid on the bare ground to keep the mud from rising up into the ballast, and an additional drainage system was installed. Fresh ballast was placed, and a crane lifted the pre-assembled three-diamond structure into place. This single unit can weigh as much as 33 tons and required the use of the crane rented specifically for this job. More fresh ballast was poured and tamped around the diamonds to set them into place, utilizing track maintenance equipment including a tamping machine and a ballast regulator. Track crews connected the new rail to the existing track, and signal crews conducted their cutover work. At 8 a.m. the next day, the first train operated over the new diamonds. The entire project was a prime example of the coordination and teamwork needed to maintain critical infrastructure for both Metro's passengers and our freight partners. The new diamonds are expected to have a life of 8 to 10 years until another replacement is necessary.